Greetings fellow Expanse lovers, welcome to another part of the project Raptor class. Uh, today we will actually take a look at a few assemblies uh, because uh, because of the uh, Eastern I was able to actually print more than I thought and thus this part of the video will be bigger than I intended. So without further ado, let's go straight into Creo. And here we are and now we will take a look at what we will do today. So we will do the top, which is this assembly, then we will do the big sides and we will do the missile base. So uh, these three big sub-assemblies will be done today. That kind of leaves us with the front and then all the, uh, all the PDCs and uh, air bridges and stuff like that. But without further ado, uh, let's uh, take a look at the top first. So this is the easiest assembly. It consists only of th three pieces, uh, which are connected via the locks and then uh, four packs 20 by 20 and that's it. The other uh, or the second assembly is the big sides. And this is it. It consists of several pieces. So first we have this. I have it as a one model. I simply assume that you are skillful enough to actually divide the part in slicer or cura or whatever you are using on your own. So basically we have this part, then we have the bottom part which has already on its own the pegs. So the two goes together, then we will insert the pins and attach those small pieces once again attach pin pins and then those parts uh, obviously uh, you cannot do it like that you have to first make those two and those two and then put everything together and then we have that orange strip and that's it and those the the big sides and the last one is here the missile base all right so uh, as you can see this is more complex assembly but nothing we cannot manage so we start with this part and into this hole we will insert we will insert this connector piece 20 by 20 and then attach the second half which is this after that we will insert pins once again 20 by 20 and we insert those two halves once again pins and those two halves once again you have to first put them together and then insert them uh, that's how it works anyway then we will insert those gray pieces and then this gray piece now here to this groove we will insert the uh, orange strap and gray strap Now uh, here we will add covers for the torpedoes and the same for the second side but first yeah uh, we, we can insert torpedoes uh, just please bear in mind uh, the torpedoes will not be part of this uh, video yet I will do them basically as a uh, last details because I can always open the missile base and simply put them there yeah, so another four uh, covers uh, the axis will once again be done we are toothpick so just like with the previous ships okay now we will add the sensor array Yeah, and Antina 
I, I, though, though the model is there, I actually printed only this thing, and this is a toothpick. And last but not least, here we will insert two pins. And that's it. That's the entire missile bay assembly. Okay, so now we will uh, look how it everything goes together. Okay, so this is the status after the last part. So now, as you can see here, we have all those packs, and to them we will insert the top, which has corresponding holes for those packs. And now we have these five pins on each side. So. Uh, each of those pins go to the corresponding hole in the big sides. Yeah, here I don't know if it's visible, but there are uh, corresponding holes, so it will be clicked from sides. And as you can see here, we have this rectangular opening, and and that is for the missile bay, which uh, this rectangular pack. Obviously, uh, after we are done uh, here, we will have the parts of the front, so everything will stick together. Oh, and that's it. So this is what we will do today. So let's go straight to the printing. And here we have all the parts. So we will start with the top. So uh, for that, we will take this piece. We will take this piece and we simply slide the two together like this and then we will take the last one and and we have the top already assembled. So for now we will put it aside and start with the <coughs> with the big sides. So as you can see I already inserted all the pins. So those are the uh, 20 by 20 pins or 20 by 19. So we put the two halves together. Uh, those are the top parts or top halves and now we do the same for these and these uh, are the bottom half and now we will connect them but i see that i forgot two pins here and now we will take the two halves and simply push them together okay like that and now we have to insert this orange stripe here to this hole or the groove okay like that and we have to do it twice left and right so we have to do the second one the same way okay and once they are done we once again move them aside and we will Okay. Now focus on uh, the missile bay. Uh, first thing I have to uh, mention is that I kind of uh, screwed up and basically these two pieces are supposed to go like that. And as you can see here, uh, you have a holes for the 20 by 20 pins. But unfortunately, here I forgot to make the holes. Don't worry, the data are already fixed, so it will be correct, so these uh, holes will be there. But I don't have them and I don't want to reprint them, because it's a uh, long print and uh, so basically I will do it without them. Yeah, but I'm just mentioning it. <clears throat> okay, so uh, here uh, I already inserted this connector piece, 20 by 20 and now we simply put the two halves together like that and now we will insert the 
him. Like that. And we will do the same for the second side. Okay, like that. Obviously, you will not be able to do it. Obviously, you will not be able to do it like that. Because then you wouldn't be able to actually put the two halves together. So you have to first put them together and then slide them down. Uh, for me, that's not uh, necessary. So, yeah. And then the same here. Mm -hmm. The last one. Yeah. And yeah. <coughs> now uh then we have this piece. As you can see I already attached the uh torpedo covers. I didn't bother to actually film it. It's same as on my previous ship, just uh, put a toothpick through and that's it. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, I already inserted the first one here, and now the second uh, simply put it there and yeah, okay, and it's in place. Now we have this. Uh, this silver piece and that simply will be pushing here until it snap and then the antenna uh, i already inserted the piece and the toothpick i didn't bother once again to uh, record it why and this will be put here and now <laughs> basically the most problematic parts we have to insert the orange piece and the gray piece here okay and now it is done so we have the missile base uh, we have both big sides and we have the top and now comes the time we will install it uh, onto the ship Okay, here's the ship. Uh, don't be alarmed that I removed the nacelles. Uh, that's just practical because they were too heavy and the uh, manipulation with them was uh, really uh, problematic. So I decided to remove them and uh, when we are done, I will easily reattach them. So now we have uh, the, uh, the top and as you can see here, the corresponding uh, pegs so now we have to push everything into place okay everything is where it's supposed to be and now we can start with the uh, with the Sides. So I will start with this one, you will not see this one because it's obviously out of the camera, but you will see this one. <coughs> okay, and this one. Okay. They are connected, and now uh, we have to attach the missile base. I will remove the antenna for now because I'm afraid that I will break it. And <clears throat> here we have a peg, and inside mm -hmm. we have a hole. <clears throat> yeah, this way will be easier for me. So we simply take it and yeah and put everything together. See, I can even fit it into the frame. 
Yeah, but that's it. So yeah, uh, this will be it, and now uh, I guess we can attach the the nacelles. Yeah, it is now with the nacelles, but as you can see, I cannot really fit it into the frame. I'm I'm sorry, it's just that big. Yeah, but anyway, as you can see, it's already starting to take shape. Now, obviously, the front is still missing, and then all the details, like all the PDCs and <coughs> and all the airlocks. But yeah, for now, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see in uh, another part, which probably uh, will be the last part, or at least second to last. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, have a very nice day, and bye-bye.